Hey everybody, it's Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire and I'm back with another video here in the Savannah area. One of the biggest tourist attractions is Bonaventure Cemetery. And it is really nice because it is free. And if you have never been to an old cemetery, I cannot recommend enough that you visit this site and see what the sites are there and just get an idea of what it's like to be there. Now, of course, it's most famous for, you know, supposedly being uh, haunted, that kind of thing. And there are a lot of tours that you can get and go down and watch and see, you know, what you see. But I went there today. I did not look up anything. Um, my knowledge is that it is in Savannah. It's old and it's big. It's a hundred acres. That's that's what I know about the cemetery, and I wanted to see what it was for itself, and just to go in and look and get an idea, not look for any specific grave, not look for any specific monument, but just go in and get a feel, and uh, it did not disappoint. It is absolutely beautiful and historic. And you get caught up in like, you know, what it is like now, like the, just the present and how beautiful it is, even though it's not particularly just beautifully landscaped, um, just the trees and, and, and the atmosphere is fantastic, but you get caught up in what it's like now and then just the historical significance. Uh, you get to see every kind of, of grave, every kind of sarcophagus. Every, it's just something to see. And there are, you know, it goes back to the 1700s. Um, it contains some very odd things. Like you can see pictures. Like you'll go through the cemetery and I was just constantly seeing things that would catch my eye. Uh, like I said, it's a hundred acres, and I walked for well over two hours just seeing one thing after another. The number of children's graves there, that's a child's grave, um, is just remarkable, uh, just how many there are. And, you know, it, it's one of those things where you see like a, a site like this, um, this person was a famous, uh, they started Capitol Records, so they're, they're obviously, there's obviously a lot of people here that were very wealthy. And you see this kind of site, and then you'll see one, it's just got one grave in it, and it's not even, you can't even tell who it is. Um, these, uh, these suspended crosses, I saw a lot of those. I'd never seen those before in a cemetery. And I couldn't help but wonder, as I went through and I looked at these, you would see uh, these marked off spaces that were like family plots and uh, look at all the children there um, and then some of them would be completely full and some of them would have where people had been buried up until recently you know and some of them would be very very old and you'd have this big plot and there'd be like one grave and, and it would make you wonder what happened to this family were, were they just gone? Did the family line end? Uh, did people just not want to be buried there? It's just, uh, it just makes you wonder. Every one of these uh, sites, every one of these graves, there's a story behind it. And you have famous people. Uh, you have people that no one ever heard of. And you probably couldn't even figure out who they are now. But there's a story behind every one of them. Um, you know, every one of those children's graves, that was a child that somebody uh, wanted or that was a child that somebody didn't want. Uh, that was a child that, that, you know, 200 years ago, a mother stood there uh, and a father stood there at that grave, you know, where I'm standing there today looking. Every one of these was a funeral. Um, here's another one that was a child that um, I believe may have died from, uh, I'd have to go back and look at it now, what it said. I read so many of these, and I looked at so many of these uh, that, you know, it just kind of blurs together. I'll have to go back again. 
Um, and, and many of these are just intricately made and are just absolute works of art. Beautiful. Um, that one, I believe, the son <clears throat> was 20 years old and drowned. And uh, obviously, you know, he was loved. And uh, that was the father and mother. But uh, you see these, you know, some of them have stories and some of them don't. And it just leaves you to wonder. There's another kind of an odd, you know, the little seat, the little angels there. There's a plot that said Nichols. I had to stop and video that one. And uh, there was a spot there for me. Uh, I don't think I'm probably related to those people. But uh, this one uh, was a, the, the World War I, World War II veterans. Uh, some of these people had died during the war. Uh, there's, there's an unknown one there where they just buried the casket and uh, that that talks about the how it's dedicated to the memory of the men of the wards and you can see all of the where people have laid stones and objects uh, in memory of, of their lost loved ones or just people they wanted to recognize um, some of these of course were extravagant um, the the door I, I didn't get a good video of it here but it's just awesome the, the the handiwork there uh, there's one of the tourist vans and uh, if you wanted to just drive through here uh, if you went during the week you could just drive around in your car and look and not even get out of your car it's got uh, roads and trails all through it you won't be able to see everything but it's hard just to take it all in anyway like I said I walked around for well over two hours and I could have just kept walking around looking at things. And uh, it was just one thing after another that, that, that took my attention or, or made my mind wonder, you know, a certain direction. Um, some of these uh, plots, like I said, were very well taken care of. Some of them you can tell that people have not been to visit in decades. And... Um, you know they're just there there's a very interesting one it kind of looked like a the roof of a house almost um and it just again also it makes you wonder what what did these cost i mean you know who could afford to to set up something like this for you know their lost loved ones um and, and the people that could you know obviously they want that memory you know, to be out there. They want people to see this is somebody that I loved. But again, you know, you have these other very simple graves, very simple stones of people that were no less loved and no less cared for. Um, you know, it's just kind of one of those things when you think about the way society is. Uh, it, it, there's a lot of, um, just a lot of things here that you, you end up thinking about as you, as you look at all this or I do, um, the, the plots, you know, where they were set apart for particular families, obviously modern graveyards, we don't really do that. Uh, but these, you know, back then, they did. And it would just be, uh, you can see the ironwork gates there, just how, you know, beautiful those were at one point in time. Um, you know, that's just something that's foreign to us now. And you go to a cemetery like this, and it just is completely, you know, in your face, you know. And then, you know, you see things like this. You know, some of them were just very mysterious. They didn't tell you anything. It was just a name on a, on a, a block, you know, or something. It's just uh, strange. And then uh, uh, this is beautiful. Uh, as you as you looked around, you just saw one thing right after another to look at. Um, this one was very uh, really got my attention. This was a General Robert Anderson. Um, there were lots and lots of Confederate um, people that had served in the Confederate Army. Um, obviously, you know, since this is Savannah. And this, this uh, cemetery is so old, there were just tons and tons. Everywhere you turned, uh, you saw graves of people that had been in uh, the Confederate Army. 
Now, there was only one thing that I saw there that really did disturb me. Um, I know, you know, I said a lot of people go there because they say it's haunted and things like that. But uh, this was the only thing that really kind of took me back. And I'm going to show you and, and you guys can see what you think about it. Um, right there, if you look very closely, there is a Florida Gator flag. What is that doing in Savannah, Georgia? Uh, here's another kind of a thing here. I, I looked at that and I noticed there's a lock. That means there's a key to that somewhere. Who has the key? You know, you look at these things and you're like, where? That's just where my mind goes. You know, it's like, who would have the key to this? Um, it may have been gone forever. That was one of those suspended crosses that I thought was so interesting that I hadn't seen in other cemeteries. Uh, the trees and, and the, the plants and everything in some of these graves were just completely overgrown. Uh, this was a very interesting, uh, that's a colonial flag. And this monument showed all the colonials that were buried in Bonaventure. Uh, Noble Jones, of course, is the Wormslow uh, founder. The um, Houston um, Butler, Williams, Telfair, Tattnall. If you live in Georgia, you're going to recognize a lot of those names. You know, th those are people that signed the Declaration of Independence. Uh, George Jones of Wormslow. When you come from a place like Wormslow, you're going to be a U.S. senator. You are going to be, back then, that was the way it worked. There's Noble Jones. Uh, there's his gravestone. He was the founder of Wormslow. The, um, the azaleas. As you look down through here, there were just tons and tons of azaleas. And I want to go back in the spring when these azaleas are blooming. I'm going to go back and do another video so you guys can see just the beauty of that. A white chair just sitting in the middle. I, I didn't understand why that was there. I didn't see a chair anywhere else. I don't know if a person put it there and they visit regularly. I don't know. Uh, a lot of things just catch your attention there. Now, there was a plantation house here at one point. This was a plantation, and uh, it's on the William, Williamton River and overlooking the, the river. So, of course, the plantation house is no longer there. Um, as you go through the cemetery, you see American flags everywhere. People, uh, of course, being honored for their service to their country, that kind of thing. I'll, I'll tell you about a particular grave for that here in a few minutes couple of minutes. Um, eventually I just started um, taking pictures. There was so much to see and there were such beautiful scenes that I felt like it would be best served taking pictures. All right, speaking of that family that I mentioned earlier, I'm going to show you a set of graves where there are family members that served from the Civil War all the way to Vietnam and I would say probably beyond that family had tombstone after tombstone of people that had served their country and it was an emotional thing to see and I don't know that family I don't know who they are but that's the kind of thing that I saw here over and over uh, so far this is the most enjoyable tourist attraction that I have visited in Savannah personally and if you get the chance to go to Bonaventure Cemetery, I highly recommend you do it. And uh, just thank you guys for watching Nichols Retirement Empire. And have a great day.